Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to magnetize a Crypt Horror or Crypt Flare. If you really, really want to go a step further, you can do it as a Vargeist to magnetize the head as well. But seeing as this is for Lucy's Flesh Eater Army, she's only going to be using the Flares and the uh, Horrors. So what I've done is I've obviously built this guy and just not glued the arms on and I've got both left arms uh, and both right arms respectively. Uh, and what we're going to do is make it so we can just literally swap the arms out and it can be either one. So we're going to put those parts to one side for the moment and we're going to magnetize them using these, I think this is 3mm by 2mm magnets. Uh, I've got six here, you can pick them up off eBay uh, for about five or six pounds for about 50 to 100 magnets depending on where you look. And the only other thing that we need is a hand drill. Uh, which I've uh, got an army painter one here uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in either side of this and then a hole in the relative place on each of the arms as well. Now I apologize mine is a little bit squeaky um, but what you want to do is you want to drill right in the middle of where it's going to fit so for this model it's right there because we know that that is going in there like that so just a nice test fit actually I'm glad I tested that because it's going to be right there on top of that so we'll start drilling that now I forgot to mention as well, this is a uh, two or three millimeter drill bit. What, I can't remember the exact size. It's basically the same thickness uh, as the magnets. Now, I had a little bit of difficulty starting that off. So what I'm going to do here is just trim that nodule off there with a knife, just so that it's a little bit flatter for me to be able to start working. There we go. So now that the body's done, we're gonna drill the inside of here. And again, just to test fit to see roughly where it needs to go. So I know it needs to go right in the middle, there. And you wanna be careful not to push all the way through. And then we're going to do the same with the wing. So again, just test fit to see where it fits. So I've now done the other arms as well, I just did that off camera so I could uh, hold it a little bit easier rather than working around the camera. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sink a little magnet in here, but before I do that I'm just going to trim the little bit of edging off there, make sure there's nothing gets in the way and there it's going to sit flush. There we go. So this is where it gets a little bit difficult and I've got giganto hands, so please excuse me if I make this look a little bit messy. It's very difficult when you're six foot eight. So, drop a super glue in the end there, and then get your magnets. Now what I tend to do is I'll push one in, and then break it off. And then I'll just use the end of a paintbrush just to push it flat because it doesn't get stuck on the paintbrush, you see. And then same with the other side. Now it doesn't really matter which way around the ones in the body go, as long as you get the ones in the arms the right way around, and that's the important one. 
there we go, didn't it? Push that one in, it's just gone in. Straight up, and there you go. Magnets in both sides, ready to go. So, when they've set, uh, this one is already set. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is show you the magnets that are going into the wing, and then we'll do the arm as well. So again, just drop a super glue in there. Now, before we put the magnet in here, we need to make sure that we're using the right end. So, that attaches that way, which means that needs to go down over into the wing like that. And just need to pull the last, uh, the last magnets off there, and then just push it right in, like that. We'll then do the same with the other arm. Again, just test, make sure we've got this the right way around. What you can do as well is uh, use a knife and kind of slide it on. There we go. And I'll just push that right into the bottom as well. And we'll let them dry and test it. So here we go guys, I've sunk the magnets into the sides of the arm there as well. And as you can see, it literally pops on or off. As easy as that. So Lucy couldn't go, oh, there's my horror. No, don't wanna run horrors today, no problem. Let's play with some flares. There we go. So it's as easy as that guys. I'm now gonna go and do this with uh, another five and then no doubt Lucy's gonna pick up a star collecting box uh, very soon to do this with a few more. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Nice and easy to magnetize these guys uh, and there's a lot of versatility in the box. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.